The Plastic Bag Princess by Robert Mulch, also known as the St. Patrick Catholic Elementary School Grow Green Team, a fractured fairy tale based on the book The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful princess named Elizabeth. She lived in a castle and had expensive princess clothes. She was going to marry a prince named Ronald. Ronald was the kind of guy who liked everything to be new and convenient. He was always buying new things and drinking bottled water to stay hydrated. Unfortunately, a giant, stinky waste monster came and buried Elizabeth's castle in waste, wrecked all of her clothes, and carried off Prince Ronald. All that Elizabeth was left to wear was a blue plastic recycling bag. She decided to go after the waste monster and get back her prince. The waste monster was easy to follow as it left a trail of litter. Look at all this stuff, Elizabeth exclaimed. I might as well sort this waste as I go. Plastic grocery bags? These can be recycled. Banana peels? They can go in the composter. Paper? That is still good on one side? Hey, I could save this for later. I'll put it in my goose box. Finally, Elizabeth came to a giant dump that was piled high to the sky with waste. Hey! Waste monster! Hey, waste monster! Come out! I want to talk to you! Elizabeth called. The waste monster stuck its nose out of the dump and said, Well, a princess. I love to consume princesses, but I've already consumed an entire castle today. I am a very busy waste monster. Come back tomorrow. He plunged himself so fast back into the dump that a banana peel flew out and landed on Elizabeth's head. This is supposed to go in the compost, not the garbage or on me, she shouted. Come back out here, waste monster. Go away. As I already told you, I love to consume princesses, but I've already consumed an entire castle today, and maybe soon a prince. I'm a very busy waste monster. Come back tomorrow, exclaimed the waste monster. Wait, shouted Elizabeth. Is it true that you are the largest, most wasteful waste monster in the whole world? Why, yes, said the waste monster proudly. Is it true, waste monster, wondered Elizabeth, that Canadians use more than one billion plastic shopping bags every year, and many of these bags end up in the dump like yours? That's right, confirmed the waste monster. That's enough plastic bags to circle the earth, shouted Elizabeth. Here, let me show you, said the waste monster, as it jumped up and ran around the earth, leaving a trail of plastic bags. Is it true, asked Elizabeth, that Canadians buy more than 2 billion liters of bottled water each year and that many of these plastic water bottles end up in the dump like yours where they take hundreds of years to break down? That's right, said the waste monster. And if we take these plastic water bottles and line them up, they would wrap around the world more than two times, Elizabeth questioned. You got it replied the waste monster as it jumped up and ran around the world two times leaving a trail of plastic water bottles. Is it true, waste monster, that there is an island of waste bigger than the whole province of Ontario in the Pacific Ocean with more floating plastic pieces than marine animals? Elizabeth inquired, and plastic never goes away. Instead, it just breaks down into smaller and smaller pieces but never disappears? That's right, said the waste monster, but we can recycle this plastic and use it to make other things like fleece jackets, sleeping bags, carpeting, more bottles, and more plastic bags, Elizabeth reminded the waste monster. Yeah, I guess so. I'm feeling kind of faint, said the waste monster tiredly, and the waste monster, who is much smaller now, laid down and fell asleep. Elizabeth whispered very softly, Hey, 
Waste monster! The waste monster didn't move at all. Elizabeth leaned towards the waste monster and put her head very close to it and shouted as loud as she could, Hey! Waste monster! The waste monster was so small and so tired that it didn't even move. Elizabeth walked right over the waste monster and looked around the dump. There was Prince Ronald. He looked at her and said, Elizabeth, you are a mess. You smell kind of ripe, your hair's a mess, and you're wearing a garbage bag. Come back when you look like a real princess. First of all, Ronald, this is not a garbage bag. It's a recycling bag, shouted Elizabeth. And you may have brand new clothes and neatly combed hair, but you are wasteful, and that makes you stink. So I'm not going to waste the rest of my life with you. And they didn't get married after all. The Plastic Bag Princess was created and written by the St. Patrick Catholic Elementary School Grow Green team. It was originally performed as a play to inform and inspire their school community to reduce plastic waste. This helped to motivate the school community to compete in the Plastic Bag Grab Challenge 2017. St. Patrick's School collected close to 3,000 plastic shopping bags from the community between May 29th and June 2nd, 2017. They discovered that they had enough bags to wrap around their school more than two times. The Plastic Bag Princess is a fractured fairy tale of the popular children's book The Paper Bag Princess by Robert Munch.